So one day to our Techi friends in Thailand and hello to everyone. This is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I am Scrappy and this is World Web Scrapping. There we go. Welcome to World Web Scrapping. This uh, video we are going to talk about how to connect to an FTP server how to download and upload data on FTP server using Python. And we are going to see a new library that is uh, specifically designed for to connect with an FTP server. So let's get started. So what FTP server is uh, called file transfer protocol. So it is the standard protocol to transfer files between a client and a server. So you might have uh, some FTP server if you are working in a computer and uh, you have uh, that you are most of your data that uh, you have uh, will be stored on a server so that can be called as an FTP server actually and there are many web services company which provides FTP server which uh, you can use if uh, you need to store a large amount of uh, data so that's what FTP server is now one of the main features of FTP server is the ability to store and retrieve files so to connect with an FTP server, we are going to use a library called FTBLIB. This is the documentation for this library. So we are going to use two comments and these two methods. That is, uh, one is to upload the data on FTP server, one to download the data from the FTP uh, server. But if you need more information, if you are maintaining an FTP server, and if you need more information on how to manage the directory on FTP server or how to change the directory or give it some data there, so you refer to this document it contains all the comments and it contains all the information that you need so do refer to this uh, FT, FTP lib document if uh, you need further information okay so guys uh, let's get started I'm going to import my FTP lib library and I'm going to connect to a server called that is called a DLP test so this DLP test is a test server basically that just to test how we are going to upload these files to an FTP server. So it is a test server and it stores the whatever data you can access its uh, website uh, this uh, dlptest.com FTP test and uh, this is a test server and it has the information that you will need that FTP URL FTP user and password this uh, password keep changing so keep it uh, not of that so you can use this server to text program and we can work that way now I have uh, copied the host name user and password here I have imported my library I'm going to run the cell and after that we are going to connect to the FTP server using FTP lib dot FTP method dot FTP method we have to pass the host name we have to pass the user and we have to pass the password and uh, I here I am encoding it into UTF 8 just to confirm that force and coding if uh, it is not in UTF 8. Then we might have uh, a problem we are going forward so it's a good practice to do that when trying to connect with the FTP server. So let's just run that it is going to make some time because the server is public server actually and uh, you know as a lot of people try to use that server for file transference so because of that it might take uh, some time so guys uh, it's connected to the server now now to upload the file what we have to do is uh, first we have to call the file that we want to update right so this is a file and it should be in your current working directory so this is a file that it is in my current working directory called music.csv so uh, I want to upload this file now to my FTP server so I'm opening this file with open file name this is my file name RB so I am opening it in the binary mode 
and as file and then there is uh, this command called ftp.store binary the dot store binary is the method that we use to store the data to store the file into the server so before any file you want to upload the file you have to add this STOR in the capital you have to add this word before your file name and then you have to write as I have opened this file here in binary so that's uh, what either you can open this file in binary like uh, this here or you can just write RB here instead of writing file you can just write RB here so this is the store binary is the method that is uh, used to store the data on the server so now let's run the cell and this has uploaded my file so what happens uh, here is the ftp store command stores the file in the binary mode so that's why we write the file in the binary mode and if um, transfer the file to a new port it will create a port for you and it will transfer the file through a new port to the server so the file is stored on the server for 30 minutes because it is a test server so this is the common ftp.dir so this common what uh, we will do is uh, it will show all the current directories and current file so all of this common will work on any of uh, the FTP servers so just be sure of that so they are going to work on every server not on just this FTP server so this FTP DIR command is going to show you all the files that are uploaded on the server so let's run this and we should have a file on there let's see we have this music.csb has uh, been uploaded today 3rd June so that file is uh, there right now downloading the file so there um, this is the second thing that we can do now to download the file there is another comment called retrieve binary so retrieve binary this means that retrieve the file so it's the same just instead of using the store binary that we use here right instead of using this just use the same card and FTP uh, dot retrieve uh, binary and instead of STOR in the capital you have to mention RETR in the capital and then you have to mention the file that you want to download so in this case because I am downloading the file from the the FTP server and I'm writing that file into my local machine so I have to open this file as uh, WB that means a uh, write binary so that's uh, what it means so guys here use this command and we will run the cell and the file will get downloaded and the uh, issue with the, the server is that this comment might fail right now because that server keeps in its public server again and it keeps disconnecting because a lot of people are trying to access the server so I might need to you to know like uh, just connect with the server again and try to download the file again I will have to try that if this fails didn't fail so basically we have downloaded our file now and so that's how you can download and upload the file and in the end we have to quiet the FTP server so we will run the cell and this will disconnect us from the FTP server so that's how you can upload and download a file from an FTP server and you can use this code directly just uh, change your file names and just connect to your FTP server. If you need heavily need to work on FTP server, then please go to this again, go to this library, is the document on python.org and uh, read through the document. And so that is all for today, my Tetchy friends. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website. Leave your comments below and ask me any question you have. I will be happy to answer them. Link is given in the description of this video to get code and full material. Stay happy, stay safe, stay Tetchy.